Watch this. Something's going to go tonight. Don't know who it's going to be. Ricky and Natalie. Natalie and Jade and Ian. Chris and Ola. This is never going to be. Layla and Anton. Seeing them out there in the spotlight really takes you back. Which couple are you going to save? Your heart's just bouncing out your body. Zoe and James. Zoe and James. Zoe. <laughs> It's the end of another great show, and clearly what I've seen today is the boys are loving the world of the dance. Never really bothered me. Thank you so much to Kenny, and please welcome Joe and Christina. I shouldn't get that. So I'm miserable. You're out, mm. and you two seem really. I mean, especially you, Christine. You seem yeah, so disappointed. Sad, yeah. Joe, did you feel like like so many of us watching? You turned a corner, like you were suddenly dancing, and then you were out. Well, to be honest, the only time I actually danced was the, the dance off. <laughs> it's funny because I was so nervous. I, I didn't didn't dance, you know. And uh, even when I done the the dance proper, I didn't do it like I should have done it, and work, like the way I have done it. And then when the dance off was there, I knew I was out. There's no way I could sort of uh, compete with one of the best dancers in the show. And so, so I knew we were going to go. So she said to me, like, just relax, enjoy yourself. Is that, is so that what that. you said to yeah, him? Yeah, I just said it's our last dance, so just enjoy. So for once, I just relax and show they could do a bit of dancing. So I was, I was happy with that, but obviously I'm disappointed. Yeah. You know? But although, is it, I mean, the judges were were positive. They said there's real improvement. It was a different kind. Oh, Christina, I don't want you to be sad. Tell me what, what, what makes you sad. Just, I think he has improved so much in that week, and um, to get a fall from Craig, it was such a surprise. Because yeah. last week when he danced Foxtrot, Craig said he didn't improve and he gave him four. And Sweet. this week, he okay. said he has improved and he gave him four again. Yeah. So I don't understand how come if somebody improved, why don't yeah, you yeah, give yeah, a better yeah, score yeah. to a person? Just yeah. to encourage him, just a little bit more. I know. I think he gave him a three for the fox trot. Well, okay. I mean, he's over there. We <laughs> but can he all also jump gave on him eight after. and sevens to people who forgot their routines and barely moved on that night. Yeah. You so. have. Um, I'll put it to him in a minute. I promise you. Uh, you've had a lot of support on the forums. I just want to read you some because they'll that will make you happy. Because I feel sad that you're sad. I don't have a. A tissue. I have a pen. It's okay. That's, that's <laughs> all useful. Um, Pretty girl. <laughs> uh, this is a, a girl from Lucy. Uh, a message from Lucy. I think they look lovely tonight. Joe was completely brilliant in the dance off. A really great performance. All credit to you both. So it's lovely that you've really. So many people have loved what you've done. Uh, this is from Glistener. So sorry to see Christina and Joe go. It was such a pity as Christina looked fab and I loved her choreography and Joe mm. had looked so much better. But you know Christina as well. That's often the way and. Does it make you feel a bit better? I know it's sad for Zoe and James that yeah, yeah. you were in the bottom two with another couple who were brilliant. They were amazing. I actually can't believe that Zoe was there with us in the bottom position. Just no way for it because obviously she's one of the best dancers on the show. Yeah. So I was really shocked. But as soon as I saw her there, I knew we were out. Yeah, I knew we so. were out because, you know, if, you know, to be honest, I wasn't the worst dancer in the competition on that night. So yeah. I fancied my chances against the bottom couple. I think I had a chance. But yeah. You, you know, when I saw with Zoe, I thought there's no way. So I at the end of the day, I can be defeated. You know, I got defeated by a woman. It's fine. <laughs> no. Lost my undefeated record. Guys, you Lost my undefeated record. You have but been Zoe's brilliant. lovely and she's great. And I wish all the best for this. Okay, let's have a look at your highlights. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. When I saw Joe for the first time, I saw, oh my God, he's so good looking. You know about to box. <laughs> Come on. She's a beautiful girl and we got her well from the start. You know, she's patient. Good teacher. Sure, you never danced before? No, <laughs> Joe is just like my probably dream partner. The way he trains is just amazing. You look the part, yes. and I think you have the potential to go a long way, but unfortunately, that's a dance only a mother could love. They do have two words rigor mortis. Oh, no. Two. I started at the bottom. The pressure's completely off me now. There's only one week to go, and that's up. Improvement, Joe, definitely. You, but it was nice to see an improvement. In the bottom spot, Joe and Christina. Finish the bottom leaderboard is not something that I'm really happy with. But he's so determined to do well. You were on time, so there is hope. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, Bruno. Finally, some personality, a vast improvement. It's decision time. Zoe and Jane. Zoe and Jane. Zoe. 
I am gutted to see Joe go. Nobody has supported me like that man. He has got the kindest heart. I've had a fantastic experience. The biggest thing for me is meeting Christina. She's sorry because she's such a fantastic teacher. An even better girl, you know what I mean? And uh, for that, I'm happy I was in the show. It turned out to be the most amazing experience ever for me. It was just a privilege, a real honor to teach someone like him. He's an amazing guy, a wonderful partner. And I'll miss him a lot. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I'm sorry, I'm, go I'm going to attack him on your behalf. Um, guys, thank you very much. Joe and Christina. Yeah, clap your hearts. The clock's going back this weekend heralds the start of the autumn season, but to some, last Saturday was the start of Craig bashing season. Well, I've been you skip oh. through all of this. It's like a grasshopper, really. I don't know about grasshopper. I'd say a bush kangaroo. <laughs> There comes a time where somebody has to sit down and go, actually, do you know what, Joe? You did very well out there. There's no yeah. need for bush kangaroo. Very you don't have to be personal, Craig. That was not personal. You don't have... It was that personal. That was not personal That was all. personal. You no, shouldn't do it. Please welcome Craig Revel Horwood. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's talk about, if we can, the kangaroo incident, yes. and then we'll talk about Joe and Christina. Do you feel like you're getting a bit of a... <sighs> yes, but I, I'm rather used to that, I have to say. And for me, it's like water off a duck's back. If I think one thing, I will say it, and it's my opinion, and that's what I'm paid to do. Uh, let if me you just... don't like it, you're not a very good sportsman. OK. I... Okay, let me just redo some forum comments. Uh, this is uh, from Weez. Craig certainly gets a hard time over nothing, if you ask me. From somebody who's called Anton to win. Craig has been the most entertaining and the most honest. Um, then there's somebody else from Derma Petra. I have to admit that when Bruce Forsyth rounded on Craig for his kangaroo remark, I supported him. It seemed to be one of those occasions when the smart remark was inappropriate, just after a couple had put their all into a dance. Would you agree with that? I mean, thinking back, I mean, well, Brendan um, was I really think, honest. I think people at home, and um, obviously Brendan, does not understand a technique that we use in dance, in acting, and it's called animal imagery. It's so you can show how a dance uh, looks yeah. through the use of using animals. And that's, we do it all the time. We do it as children. You know, um, preschool children yeah. use animal imagery always to... Uh, develop a dance or develop a character within a dance. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it was very skippy and it went totally against, you know, the yeah. grain of the Viennese waltz, sadly. But, of course, you know, I wasn't really given an opportunity to say much more, sadly. No, OK. Well, we, we've, we, I feel like we've covered it. Uh, very briefly about Joe and Christina, mm. do you wish you'd given them more than a four? When you look back, I mean, because they did so well in their dance. No, I think, um, I thought a four was adequate. I didn't think it was worth a five. OK. Uh, let's talk about the jives in general. We're joined now by Len, who's live on the phone from America. Hello, Len. Hello. Uh, oh. Yes, I've got a cold. Oh. I'm suffering oh. alone here. OK, I'll send you a lemon. Thank you very much. I yes. Love that. Uh, uh, le let me ask you. We've got a, a, a stats man, Dr. Jeff. On average, the jive gets 27.6. This week, it got 24. Len, very briefly, why do you think the jives went wrong? Well, I don't think they necessarily went wrong. I think the jive is a really difficult dance. You know, you're exposed, you're out there on your own. You know, when you compare it to the Viennese waltz, it's like a Viennese waltz is a swan and a jive is a bumblebee. Yes. It's much faster. You. You haven't got your partner in hold. You've got to let them get on with it. And when you look down who we had doing the jive, I'm not saying they're not going to grow and have potential, but, you, you know, you had Craig in there, Chris in there, Ricky Grove in there, you know, but they've got over those dances. They've got through them and they're moving on, whereas the others uh, have still got the, that dance to come. So, you okay. know, good luck to them. All right. Len, thank you very much for joining us. I'm sorry it was brief. Reef doesn't matter. I'm going to go and blow my nose. Okay. <laughs> I wish I was there to watch. <laughs> I'd hold the hanky. Thank you so much, Len. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh poor Len. Let's hope he doesn't come back from America all grumpy, darling. Yes, we'll give him a nice big cuddle. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Craig Revel Horwood. <laughs> Now, in their first week, they scored an impressive 30 with their rumba, but since then, Chris and Ola have struggled to find their form. 
My confidence is growing uh, and this jive is really good.